pain. I just sent my dead man, now he go out like a hit, man. I need it now. If I ain't have it, I'ma get it. Bitch, I'm the best, ain't no one could have said it. Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to go over um, two uh, mythicals from every category that I made mythical that wasn't mythical that are like my, like the best weapons to make mythical. So I have two from each category and right now I'm just listing all of them out for you. And this is only part one, so I'll be listing two of the primaries, two of the backup, and two of the melees that I made mythical that I think that are like, like really worth it. And like the top ones that I made mythical. So first of all, we got the primary, which would be um, the self shotgun mythical. I think this one is also one of the best. And because of this, it has 10 ammo. Like it's able to spam super fast. The range isn't too bad. I mean, it also has no delay, which is why it's good. It's like acid shotgun. And I'm not sure if it's a better acid shotgun or not. The in terms of damage, it's not as good as Acid Shotgun, but it does have 10 ammo compared to Acid Shotgun's 4 ammo. So yeah, this is also good, and just enjoy the gameplay while I will talk about the next one. The next one in the primary would be Mega Destroyer. These two are this and Assault Shotgun, which is basically like... They're both kind of like brothers in a way, you know? They both have no delay. Mega Destroyer has 8 ammo compared to Assault, Assault Shotgun's 10 ammo, but I believe Mega Destroyer has a little bit more fire rate compared to Assault Shotgun, and I believe this one feels better in terms of like just like regular gameplay. It feels a bit better. And this is also like one of the like really... I guess nobody really makes any any of these make because... These are just no delays and people think it's bad. Everybody just spams ultimatum and stuff. But these are ones to use for like cap down. These are super good. I don't really make other primary mythicals. But this one and uh, South Shotgun are like one of the top ones in my opinion. So yeah. This is also this is worth making mythical. And I added this extra gameplay right now. Just for like my sentence shot. I just like did that basically. So yeah. Now for the backup. First one would be Sparkling Horn. Of course, these are both mostly like cast spam weapons, but this is actually like super good. In terms of damage, this is better than Thunderer, and this is like from the Pixel Pass that, or the Battle Pass that was like in a, a few Battle Passes ago, but this one was like super worth getting because like it's actually super broken when, um, it's, I mean, it's better than Thunderer, so like, yeah, it's basically it makes it the like best. 3 cast bam weapon in the backup category in terms of damage and yeah that's pretty much it for this one now enjoy the gameplay for this Now, of course, the number second or number two of the backup would be the Thunder Mythical. You already know. Since, like, there's not really much backups that is nice making Mythical. And they aren't really that good compared to, like, the other ones that are already Mythical. But this Thunder and Sparkling Horn are the top two, I guess, in my category to make Mythical. And as I t told you before, uh, or as I told you again yeah, at first, uh, Sparkling Horn is definitely better than this weapon. But it's still, like... Top two, I guess. Enjoy the rest of this gameplay. Now, for the melee, I decided to not show the Ice Paw gameplay because I guess I already made an Ice Paw video recently about um, 
you know, Ice Paws and how I use it in Deathmatch to pretty much, like, run it. You already know, like, Ice Paws is broken and I'm meant to go for sure. And it helps me with my, um, Deathmatch points when I go use the Mafia set with it. So, yeah. Now, for the second melee, and the last one of this video, would be the Fist of Fate. I guess there's the also, um, in the beginning, I showed another weapon. I showed the Lava Flail, which is basically just, like, a, I guess a flex weapon. It's not really... It's not, it's not like super good because of how slow it is but fist of fate of course would be one of the top ones because it's so spammable if you can just stick to your opponent and you can keep spamming them with them like they literally can't hit you and you you can like in full charge it probably kills them with my modules like in a like a second or the half of a charge which is pretty broken so this is why like fist of fate is one of the I guess nobody really uses it too, and at the same time, mo most of the people don't really have it. But Fist of Fate is like just overall like a good, like a top tier type of melee that I recommend to make mythical if you guys wanted to make this mythical. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and this gameplay, and just like see y'all next time, guys. And please like, comment, subscribe if you guys like this. And I also have a promo video if you got to the end of my recording or, uh, the end of this video so yeah here's a promo code and thank you guys so much see y'all next time